Barack Obama is an American politician and attorney who served as the 44th President of the United States from 2009 to 2017. He was born on August 4, 1961, in Honolulu, Hawaii. Obama is a member of the Democratic Party. Before becoming president, Obama served as a senator from Illinois from 2005 to 2008. His presidential campaign began in 2007 and he won the Democratic nomination in 2008, ultimately defeating Republican candidate John McCain in the general election. He was re-elected for a second term in 2012, defeating Republican candidate Mitt Romney. Obama's presidency was marked by several significant events. He faced challenges such as the 2008 financial crisis and the subsequent economic recovery efforts, the passage of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, the killing of Osama bin Laden, and the implementation of policies to combat climate change. During his time in office, Obama emphasized the importance of diplomacy and multilateralism. He sought to improve relations with other countries, particularly through his engagement with Iran and Cuba. Obama also focused on issues such as immigration reform, gun control, and criminal justice reform. Obama's presidency was historic, as he became the first African American to hold the office of the President of the United States. His leadership style and policies generated both praise and criticism, and his tenure remains a subject of ongoing political and historical analysis. Since leaving office, Obama has continued to be involved in public life. He has written books, including his memoir, Promised Land, and has been active in promoting various initiatives and causes, such as education, healthcare, and civic engagement. It's important to note that my training data only goes up until September 2021, so any events or developments involving Barack Obama that have occurred after that date will be unknown to me. During his presidency, Barack Obama implemented several key policies across various areas. Here are some of the notable policies and initiatives associated with his administration. 1. Affordable Care Act ACA, one of the most significant policies of Obama's presidency, was the passage of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. The ACA aimed to expand access to health care and reduce the number of uninsured Americans. It introduced reforms such as the establishment of health insurance exchanges, the expansion of Medicaid, and the prohibition of insurance companies from denying coverage based on pre-existing conditions. 2. Economic Stimulus Package In response to the 2008 financial crisis, Obama signed the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act in 2009. This economic stimulus package included measures such as tax cuts, infrastructure investments, and funding for education and health care. Its goal was to promote economic recovery and job creation. 3. Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act In 2010, Obama signed the Dodd-Frank Act into law. This legislation aimed to reform the financial industry and prevent a repeat of the 2008 financial crisis. It introduced regulations on banks, established the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and enhanced oversight of the financial sector. 4. Climate Change and Clean Energy Initiatives Obama prioritized addressing climate change and promoting clean energy during his presidency. He implemented policies such as the Clean Power Plan, which aimed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from power plants, and the Paris Agreement, an international climate accord aimed at reducing global emissions. 5. Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act one of Obama's first acts as president was signing the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act in 2009, which aimed to address gender pay discrimination. The law extended the time frame for employees to file pay discrimination claims. 6. Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DOCA in 2012, 
Obama established the DACA program through executive action. DACA provided temporary legal protection from deportation for certain undocumented immigrants who were brought to the United States as children, known as dreamers. It also allowed them to obtain work permits. 7. Iran Nuclear Deal In 2015, the Obama administration negotiated the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA, with Iran and other world powers. The agreement aimed to limit Iran's nuclear program in exchange for sanctions relief. However, the JCPOA was later abandoned by the Trump administration. These are just a few examples of the key policies implemented during Barack Obama's presidency. Each policy had its own impact and significance, and their effectiveness and legacy continue to be debated. Barack Obama's relationship with Cuba and Iraq during his presidency had distinct dynamics. Here's an overview of his administration's approach to these countries. Cuba Obama sought to improve relations with Cuba, which had been strained for decades due to the United States embargo and Cold War era policies. In December 2014, Obama announced a historic shift in U.S. policy towards Cuba. The two countries engaged in secret negotiations that led to the re-establishment of diplomatic relations and the reopening of embassies in Havana and Washington, D.C. in 2015. The Obama administration took several steps to ease restrictions on travel, trade, and remittances to Cuba. In 2016, direct commercial flights between the U.S. and Cuba were resumed, and travel restrictions for U.S. citizens were loosened. However, the U.S. embargo on Cuba remained in place, as lifting it required congressional approval. The thaw in relations faced some criticism from those who believed the U.S. should maintain a tougher stance on human rights issues in Cuba. Nonetheless, Obama's efforts represented a significant departure from the long-standing policy of isolation and marked a significant shift in U.S.-Cuba relations. Iraq Obama's approach to Iraq was shaped by the situation he inherited from the previous administration. The U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003, led by President George W. Bush, had resulted in a prolonged conflict and the subsequent rise of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS. During Obama's presidency, the primary objective in Iraq was to wind down the U.S. military presence and transition security responsibilities to the Iraqi government. In 2010, U.S. combat troops were withdrawn from Iraq, fulfilling Obama's campaign promise to end the war. However, in 2014, the emergence of ISIS posed a renewed threat to stability in Iraq. In response, Obama authorized airstrikes against ISIS targets in Iraq and later expanded the campaign to Syria. The U.S. also provided military assistance and training to Iraqi security forces and worked with international partners to combat ISIS. Obama's approach to Iraq faced criticism from some who believed the U.S. should have maintained a more robust military presence to prevent the rise of ISIS. Others argued that the U.S. should have been more cautious about intervening in Iraq in the first place. It's important to note that the situations in both Cuba and Iraq are complex, and the policies pursued by the Obama administration were influenced by various factors and considerations.